This Arsenal team has gone five matches without scoring, a famine of more than eight hours, which has seriously damaged their hopes of retaining the league title. But George Graham has resisted the clamour to make changes. This is the same lineup which lost, but played well at Queen's Park Rangers on Saturday. So 20 years old Kevin Campbell is kept waiting to show if he can add the scoring sparkle Arsenal so desperately need. Nottingham Forest are forced to make two changes. In defence, Terry Wilson comes in for Steve Chettle, who suffered a serious facial injury on Saturday, and Brian Rice replaces leading scorer Steve Hodge, who has an ankle injury. Otherwise, it's the lineup which has carried Forest to a nine-match unbeaten run and a place in the Littlewoods Cup final for the second year in succession. The referee is Mr Bob Nixon from Wirral on Merseyside. So Nottingham Forest get ready to start this really vital game. Both teams on the same number of points in the league table, but a really sharp contrast in their recent form. Arsenal with only one win in their last five league games. Forest's last nine matches have produced six wins and three draws. And it's Forest playing tonight in the chain strip of white shirts and black shorts who get the match underway, attacking from right to left. Be interesting to see how they cope with the absence of their leading scorer, Steve Hodge. Adams shepherding that through ball over the line. It was uh, Tony Adams, in fact, who was the last Arsenal player to score here against Spurs six weeks ago. Lukic looking for Smith, and he won it well. Headed on by Merson, brought down neatly by Rocastle. And the referee gives the free kick to Nottingham Forest for the challenge by Adams on Jemson. Kick will be taken by Terry Wilson. And easily cleared again by the man who gave it away in the first place, Adams. This is Walker, who actually took uh, Adams' place in the England team. There's Walker, now with 13 England caps. Actually came from Hackney, just up the road from the Highbury Stadium. An enormous kick, which Lukic thought about coming for. And in the end, the referee is given a free kick for a foul. Talking to John Lukic before the kickoff, like I suspect most goalkeepers in the land, he personally felt that Sir Crosby's goal against Manchester City shouldn't have been allowed to stand. forward by Lukic looking for Smith and he beat Wilson well, Rocastle going in there, breaks for Richardson now Thomas turning it in cleared by Laws, only as far as Richardson for Arsenal, and that's a lovely ball went to burn out in space on the left, Merson is in support turned in dangerously and cleared well by Walker Adams coming to meet it straight at Wilson six for Nottingham Forest is Brian Rice back to Pierce, the captain Rice again. It's a neat little ball for Jensen, who controlled it well, and it came through rather fortunately to Clough from Adams' mistake, and then the Arsenal captain bringing Clough down. Play on, says the referee. Parker in possession. But no advantage came for his way, and indeed, in the end, the ball all the way back with Steve Sutton in their own goal. Dixon's header, dropped straight into the space occupied by Orlikson, but he couldn't control it. Thomas for Arsenal was fouled by the Icelandic international. Michael Thomas has a bit of an ankle injury, but uh, George Graham keen to point out it's nothing like as serious as some of the national press suggested this week, and there's no prospect of him needing an operation. Good news for England as well, as Thomas finds Smith. Straight at Pierce. Paul Dixon was a bit slow to realise there was danger with Paul Merson breathing down his neck. Lee Dixon for Arsenal. Clipped down the line to Smith and the challenge by Wilson was enough. Arsenal have the throw. Alan Smith desperate for a goal, two months without scoring and by his own admission he could have had a hat-trick against Queen's Park Rangers on Saturday. Dangerous looking ball here, bowl slightly caught out by Jemson but Adams got back to rescue the situation for Arsenal. Lively character, Nigel Jemson. 
This is Richardson for Arsenal. Alan Smith was definitely having his shirt tugged then by Wilson, but the referee either didn't see it or was allowed play to go on with Groves in possession. And Perry Groves showing his pace to good effect here, but he just left the cross a fraction too late. Wilson clears, and that's another Arsenal throw. But a good positive start here by the champions. Perry Groves always a handful when he gets a run at defenders like that. Long throw from Winterburn. Aimed at Smith, turned on as well, and Thomas trying to get it out of the tangle. And Forrest very grateful that only a corner resulted from that mix-up. Thomas just couldn't dig the ball out, he knew it was in there somewhere, and he couldn't scoop it out to get a shot on target. But Arsenal have a corner. Richardson to take it. Bold on the near post. Away by Jensen. Richardson again. Short to Thomas, it was a good challenge though, by Laws, and suddenly, in typical fashion, Forrest break dangerously now with Parker. And he spotted Orlikson in space here, and unmarked, Dixon racing across the cover, turned back in, and the shot was rather a weak effort by Jensen, and now it's Arsenal's turn to counter-attack. Dixon with a long ball forward, and chasing in here behind Walker was Richardson, but that was cool play by the England central defender. And then Pierce is brought crashing to the ground by that rather unnecessary challenge from uh, one of his England teammates, David Rocastle. Pierce often the man to deliver tackles like that, this time on the receiving end. But here go Arsenal again. Merson, that's a great ball. Groves. Merson has gone for the return as well on the edge of the area, screaming for the ball. But it didn't come back to him quickly enough. Now Richardson, challenged by Parker. Winterburn back in and Laws clears the danger for the moment anyway. Another throw to Arsenal, who really have taken the game to Forrest in these opening minutes. The throw in to Smith. And still Smith, but then Parker with the interception, and that was good play by Gary Parker. Crosby. Jemson is outside him if he needs him, and he finds him well. Orlikson and Clough in the middle here. Jemson finally makes the cross, and it's knocked behind for Forrest's first corner. Parker racing, hoping for a short corner. But Rice picks Clough out instead, and back it goes to Rice. A lot of players in the middle for him to pick for here. Oh, it was Wilson who just missed it. And Arsenal living dangerously then. That ball came right across the Arsenal penalty area and really only would have needed the merest touch to give Lukic a problem. Good turn by Merson, and he got away from the defender well. This is Dixon. It's a decent-looking ball into Groves. And the header flying well wide in the end. Terry Groves has... Uh, most of the Arsenal team have rather disappointing goal-scoring statistics to their name this season. He scored only four times in 26 games. Good cross coming in from the right. Groves met it well, but it was always well off target. Bad ball, Dixon intercepts and finds Merson. Now Richardson, he's got Winterburn racing down the left and feeds him. Forward to Groves, Law's challenge, free kick I think. Certainly been Arsenal throw, if not, the free kick has been given. And clipped into Smith. Winterburn again, Groves, oh it was another late challenge then by Brian Laws. Right beneath the gaze of the linesman who signals straight away. And I think the referee will surely have a word with Brian Law because that was two successive sliding tackles that took the man. He had a quiet word out of the corner of his mouth, and that was good refereeing. He didn't make a fuss of it. The free kick in, very flat indeed. It was a strange one. It was aimed at bold. Dixon. 
Pierce was always going to be favourite to win that one, and he went uh, back and had a look at the challenge from Mickey Thomas a bit angrily. To be fair to Stuart Pierce, he's known, as I was saying earlier, as a guy who can deliver crunching tackles, but he has to take one or two himself. And his uh, reaction when that does happen is exemplary. He's certainly not a hot-headed player in terms of retaliation anyway. Finds Parker now, who did very well to keep control. Then Bold turning it forward, but much too far. Jemson's header was a good one. Winterburn had to turn away because Clough was guarding the route back to his own goalkeeper. This is Groves. Good ball. Thomas and Orlikson grappling for possession and the Icelandic man came out. Jemson, Crosby. Arsenal win it back, but the referee says play on. Good play by Laws this time. Rice is there. And a good effort. Oh, he hit the ball. Clough turns it back in, but rather disappointingly. But that was a magnificent effort by Brian Rice, and it caught John Lukic out totally. Meanwhile, there's an Arsenal player down injured, that's why he's kicked the ball out of play. But Lukic didn't seem to know that that ball was virtually on target, because he stood and let it go over his head, whack against the bar. And really, Rice's opportunism then was splendid. Very unlucky. Paul Merson, the injured player, back on his feet, and the game restarts with a forest throw. Booze for Brian Laws for the earlier challenges on Groves. In it goes to Jemson, who seemed to me to be fouled, but the referee says play on. And Dixon does just that for Arsenal. Orlikson barring the way, and he's dispossessed by Rice. Pierce now. Parker. It was a good return ball, that. It really was a good ball. And Thomas and uh, Pierce are having a right old battle tonight. And this time, it's the Forest man who loses out. It's a goal kick. Smith up well, Groves heading it on. Pierce with the clearance. Bold for Arsenal, but again, he's just uh, not really got the measure of the clearances so far. He's hit them either out of play or straight to the opposing goalkeeper. Just over 20 minutes gone here, still no goals. Clough in possession for Forrest, brought down by Adams, and that's... Probably the third time that Tony Adams has brought Clough down in that opening 20 minutes. Sometimes Tony Adams' sheer desire to win the ball, yes, the referee's just uh, making the point I was, that's the third time he's done it, but his sheer desire to win the ball can uh, leave quick players like Clough stranded on the deck with those long legs of Adams carrying on with the tackle. Anyway, free kick to Nottingham Forest. Pierce. Osby sneaking in round the back, headed away though, but only as far as Orlikson. And now Smith for Arsenal. This is Dixon. Nice little ball for Rocastle down the right. And Orlikson denies further Arsenal progress. And indeed, Forrest get the throw. Rice. Nice skill by Rice. This is Clough. It's all a little bit tight in the middle of the park, where space is at an absolute premium. Lukic with another one of his sorties from goal. Winterburn flying in with Laws, and it's gone Arsenal's way, it's their throw. Merson, that oh, was a bad ball, and suddenly Forrest looked very dangerous indeed on the break here, they've got three men forward, the charge led by Crosby, 
and Parker, and a good stop by Lukic. Cleared by Adams. This is Pierce. In again for Parker. Rice. Well, he looked for Jensen. Bowles clearance, not a good one. Orlikson heads it back, and Arsenal under some pressure themselves now. But Dixon relieves the danger by finding Smith. A bit of anxiety about Arsenal's play at the moment. Demonstrated by the way Thomas gave the ball away then. Clough's header straight into space. And John Lukic made an important save then a few moments ago. Of the game gone, so it'll be the longest spell he's had as a substitute. He's previously only total about an hour's football in his various appearances off the bench. Thomas dispossessed by Rice. Bowles clearance. Smith is there. Campbell was right behind him. They didn't know where the ball was. Rocastle did. And now Campbell gets his first touch. Parker turns it forward, straight to Thomas, though. Clough puts him under pressure. Jemson, that's good play. Parker. They break so well, don't they, Forrest? Good challenge, though, by Groves. Parker kept possession, though. Laws now. Jemson's drifted into a good space. And Laws coming all the way on his own. And a thunderous tackle brings him down. Richardson scrapping with the ball on the ground. Adams is there as well. Cup tie pace this. Groves did well. Bold with a long ball forward, and Campbell takes it beautifully. Smith was offside anyway, the referee acknowledges that, but back in possession are Arsenal again with Smith. And now Winterburn. Groves. Only half hit the shot. And Rice's clearance will go straight to Dixon. It's Arsenal's turn to turn the screw here. Groves header. Campbell and held back neatly by the experienced Brian Laws, just as danger threatened. Well, Perry Groves has had a couple of decent efforts close to target. And as it came in here, Groves knew he had to hit it first time. Pierce, straight at Dixon, now Rogasson, Campbell. Arsenal's throw. And quickly taken by Rocastle, that was intelligent. Smith. And Smith claims he was brought down. But the referee's having none of it. And he's given the throw to Nottingham Forest. Jemson's header. Adams forward. Walker. Walker again, that was great play by Walker. He made that ball his own. Parker now. Laws, well he can hit the ball, Laws, you can't give him a shooting chance, and here he is again! Ooh, it was so close, what a marvellous run, he came all the way from his own half of the field, linked superbly with Parker, claims he should have had the corner, in fact he's got it! I think the linesman indicated goal kick, but the referee agreed that this was worthy of a corner, it took a deflection, yes. Arsenal have enjoyed a lot of pressure, but it's Forrest who created the best opening so far. Rice, one of them, with the shot against the crossbar. And now he'll take the corner kick. Wilson tried to backhead it. Out it came again to Laws. Pierce wins it. Adams forward. Only Walker on the halfway line. And that's an Arsenal throw in. Walkers everywhere at the moment. <laughs> P. 
Matias. Bowl gets it away. Rice. Well won by Bowl. Wilson. Calm piece of play. He was a little bit fortunate to get away with it. He hasn't completely got away with it either because it's an Arsenal throw. Well, full credit for trying to play football, but there are times when it's better to thump the ball into the crowd, and that might have been one of them. Jemson, Eden Jemson didn't bother to run for that one. But Nigel Clough epitomizes this Forest team. It's full of good little footballers wherever you look around the side. Lukic thumping another long ball forward. Campbell won it well for Arsenal. This is Groves. Winterburn, Groves again, and Winterburn. Linesman flagging, and Arsenal hesitated for a moment because the referee said play on, they were in possession. Winterburn, Thomas, Campbell, and the referee now has given the free kick. Groves is still lying injured from the earlier challenge. Tony Adams takes his position in the goal mouth for the free kick. And remember, it was his goal all of six weeks ago that was the last to be scored by an Arsenal player. Winterburn with the free kick. The referee whistled for something then. I'm not in, honestly uh, sure why. He wasn't happy about something, he's made them take the kick again. Perhaps he wasn't in the right position. So Winterburn with the free kick. Adams header. Cleared in the end by Wilson. Into a half deserted as far as Forrest are concerned. Dixon. The long ball aimed at Groves, but Laws read it well. This is Crosby. Laws forward. Jempson, he's a good header of the ball as well. He's been the outstanding player of the half for me, Jempson. Well, that's a clumsy ball, and Rocastle did well to rescue things for us. And that's great play by Rocastle. They could have been in trouble then. Thomas, Richardson, Groves, and now Winterburn. A five man Arsenal movement. And in the end, it's Pierce who clears the danger. But Arsenal come again. Adams, that's a good ball. Winterburn, Groves. Throw into Arsenal. In towards Thomas, and it went over the head of Pierce, and Wilson was the player covering behind him. Arsenal's corner. Four minutes remaining in the first half. Richardson with the kick. Bold on the near post, often the target, and Adams running in on the edge of the penalty area. Smith is there as well. Oh! Ball stood and waited, and Groves was the quickest to react, and Arsenal's goal famine is over.
just five and a half matches without scoring, and Terry Groves has finally allowed the Highbury crowd to cheer a goal. What a long overdue moment that was. Arsenal 1, Nottingham Forest 0. Parker for Forest. And suddenly, Arsenal will believe in themselves again. Their confidence really flowering now. Rocastle, Dixon, hit in towards Groves again. Oh! He is playing now with adrenaline. Perry Groves' fifth goal of the season. And he was very close to another just moments later. Arsenal seem to be winning everything now. Good ball for Rocastle. Dixon. Hit straight at Pierce. Rocastle. Good football. Clipped into a snow. It was nearly an own goal. Oh, Walker was so lucky. Steve Sutton was going one way and somehow managed to change direction. Rocastle opening the problems up in the first place. Kicked the ball through here. Walker toe poked it and look how close that was. Terrific end to the first half then for the champions. Back headed on by Bowl. Oh, Adams completely swung at it and miskicked it. Now Crosby for Forrest. He's all on his own here. He did well just to get a throw out of it. Clough for Nottingham Forest. Parker. It's a good little ball for Clough. Parker's chasing forward, still Clough. And that was a disappointing effort. And Forest's leading scorer the last four seasons and scored against Arsenal home and away last season, but well off target then. Campbell up well. Oof, Pierce meant that free kick, uh, or rather that uh, clearance, didn't he? Really thumped it away. And we'll just let it go back to Lukic because Arsenal know that they kill a few more seconds here they will go in at half time leading by a goal to nil and that's exactly the position they're in so the Highbury crowd seeing the home match in the league for the first time in seven weeks have seen Arsenal's first goal for five and a half matches scored by Perry Groves a lively first half Forrest certainly made their contribution and are not out of it by any means but at half time it's Arsenal 1, Nottingham Forest 0. So Arsenal will start the second half in the unusual position of holding a one-goal lead. Although it's worth pointing out, they're actually the only team in the first division this season who haven't lost at home. They've won 10 and drawn 2. It's their away form that's let them down. They've lost 9 of their 14 games outside Highbury. And they won't find it that easy to hold on to that one goal advantage here. Forrest have played well enough in this game to suggest that they could easily get back level on scores. As Walker wins it, turned forward dangerously, and Smith finding Rocastle. Rocastle! Oh, he turned, but then couldn't deliver enough meat behind the shot. incidentally as though there's been uh, a substitution during the half-time interval David O'Leary is on there he is and just looking around I think uh, the man who's gone off is probably Dixon or is he out there no Dixon's still there anyway Arsenal press forward with Adams in possession Winterburn on the left. Rowcastle. Forward by Adams, but he's given it straight to Laws. Bold. And he finds Winterburn. It's a good little ball down the line. Rose, in fact, is the man who's gone off. 
who got a couple of strong tackles in the first half but played exceptionally well so how ironic that the Arsenal goal scorer after all those matches without a goal hasn't come out for the second half this is Richardson O'Leary Dixon will push forward more now down the right O'Leary's tackle a good one and then Pierce pumps the ball back into the Arsenal half held back by Bold to Lukic Winterburn Smith surely pushed by Wilson by on says the referee and Smith has done well here and wins the throw off Wilson Winterburn with the long throw in towards Smith on the near post. Campbell is in there. Half cleared. Smith gets it back in and then away by Walker. Crosby's clearance to Clough. And Crosby gets it forward intelligently. Jemson with Parker in support. Foul by Winterburn. Pierce. Orlikson. Clough. Good ball. Laws. Still Laws, and he tries the shot come cross, I suppose you'd call that, because he saw that Jemson was coming in on the far post, but in the end he was caught in two minds. Crosby's header. Adams. Clough did well to dispossess him, but no one forward to take advantage. O'Leary. Winterburn. Long ball for Smith. And he did well. Campbell. Oh, it was close. And the crowd. Really enjoying the endeavour of this 20-year-old who has got a neat touch and certainly knows where the goal is. Lovely header downwards by Smith. Campbell took it under control instantly. Wanted to shoot. And it had Sutton scrambling across his goal. Wilson. Richardson. Good play by Kevin Richardson. He does a lot of unseen work, really, in this Arsenal team. Tackles and bites and uses the ball well. Dixon on the other side. Thomas forward. Campbell chasing it. But there's not many quicker than Walker, but Campbell's beaten him to it. And still Campbell. Oh! And the shot by Dixon is still in danger, and Sutton did well and bravely as well to go down with the feet flying all around him. Laws is injured. Campbell caused all the danger here. Forced his way to the byline. Sutton couldn't only half save that. As it spun out, it was Dixon who got the shot on target. Smith couldn't dig it out for a shooting opportunity. Laws went in with his own goalkeeper and fell over him, and that's how he got injured. Thomas, Campbell, who else comes to meet it, but uh, misdirected his header. It's a forest throw. Clough, Adams right behind him. Good ball, Campbell, Adams. Tried to get it back to Campbell, and Campbell's still in there. He's so lively. He's thinking one step ahead of defenders all the time. And he's obviously a big, big favourite with the crowd here. They'd love to see him score tonight. Campbell linking with Adams and nearly got onto the loose ball. And it's O'Leary for Arsenal. Richardson. Nice play, Campbell. Good tackle though by Pierce. O'Leary again. Pierce's header again. 
And that's a free kick to Arsenal. A foul by Jensen on O'Leary. Free kick was taken from the wrong place and with the ball moving. So David O'Leary, Arsenal's half-time substitute. And their most experienced player, of course, with the free kick. Looking for Smith, and he won it well. Dixon's in there. This is Campbell. Corner. And I know George Graham felt that uh, he had to time it right to put Kevin Campbell in the team. With Arsenal lacking so many goals, he didn't want to put too much pressure on him. A young man of whom he has great hopes for the future. But he's been really lively here. the season four of them since the turn of the year and with the exception of Grove's first half goal he's the only man who's been on target for Arsenal for so long Walker in quickly on Campbell Wilson There's an Arsenal man down injured I think it's Rocastle as Laws carries on and finds Clough Clough's concerned here, he tried to uh, indicate to the referee that the injured player needed treatment, and that's typical of young Nigel Clough. He was more worried about that than uh, about Forrest winning the ball back. A player whose sportsmanship and uh, discipline is an example to all, and you'd expect it with a dad like his. Well, it's not one of the happiest days of Mr. Clough's season. And he doesn't look happy, does he? Law's head at Adams. Rocastle just couldn't react then as the ball dropped to him. Crosby, Laws, into Clough. Laws is there again. Well won back by Thomas for Arsenal. Now Campbell, that's a nice ball. Now, what can Rocastle do here? Well, injury or no, it wasn't a bad ball, but Smith couldn't quite reach it. Campbell gets it back. Rocastle. Oh, dear, that's the last thing he needed. Crashes to the deck again. Already nursing an injury. O'Leary. Richardson. Good ball forward for Smith. O'Leary and Richardson again. Looks for Thomas and finds him well. Walker's clearance. Clough's little header was a fine one to Parker. Oh, yes, good challenge by Winterburn. And Arsenal Tigers in the middle, but so are Forrest. Clough won it well. Rice, that's a nice ball. Jemson, what a good game this is now. Jemson, it's gone well here. And Parker in space. Oh, he took too long. He took far too long. The speed of the game is astonishing. But what entertaining football this is by two of the best teams in the first division. Lovely stuff. Campbell now for Arsenal. That's a nice ball. Richardson. O'Leary on the right. Rocastle. Good effort. Oh, what a splendid shot. Brilliantly saved. Well, to think he was limping round a moment ago, David Rocastle. He unleashed a beauty. He hasn't scored in the league since the opening day of the season at Manchester United. And only Steve Sutton prevented him from scoring then. Good save. Another corner for Arsenal. They lead 2-0. Richardson with the kick. In again towards Bowl, and he won it again as well. And Adams is there again. Oh, it was a brave challenge by Walker this time. And you've got to be brave with Adams around, because he'll go for anything. And he wins the corner. 
where angels fear to tread. Tony Adams will dive in, no question. And the Highbury crowd, who haven't had a home league game here for so long, really enjoying their second half. Their team leads 2 0. Richardson. Adams is there once more. Now Rowcastle. He's run that injury off by the looks of things. This is Winterburn. Oh, that's dangerous. Sutton came and did well, but O'Leary keeps it in play. Campbell couldn't bring it down. Orlickson's clearance. Hasn't gone far. Rowcastle and Crosby battling. Winterburn. This is Laws now. Campbell right behind him, and Campbell did well. And Walker happy to thump it over the line. Parker though for Nottingham Forest. Law's clearance. Adams. Crosby. Winterburn is there though for Arsenal. Forest throw. Clough. Now Crosby. Parker. And that's great play by Thomas. Really wanted that, didn't he? But straight at Pierce, who finds Orlickson. He's got Rice outside him, he's going alone for the moment. And Thomas is there again to deny him. That's a foul. Quite a furious, but as Orlickson crashed to the deck, the referee decides that Mickey Thomas hold him down. And quickly taken to Laws. Orlickson shot. Well, it, uh, was a rather more danger to one or two of the spectators than to the Arsenal goal. Scored his first ever goal for Forrest recently against Chelsea, but that was hopelessly wide of target. <laughs> Arsenal leading by two goals to nil here then. towering header away but only as far as Rice Orlickson finding Pierce it was a dangerous ball he got away with it it was a good ball as it happens Parker Laws Clough good challenge by Adams and Thomas Smith no questioning Arsenal's effort and spirit tonight they battle for every single ball won't be much wrong with the rest of their season if they can produce this kind of attitude and this kind of football. They're determined to show that they're not going to give up their championship, won for the first time in 18 years, without a real battle. And they've shown that tonight. This is Dixon. Forward to Smith. Interception by Wilson. Only as far as Rocastle, though. Richardson. Dixon. Good one, too. Richardson's there again. Parker's challenge. Smith. Now Thomas. Clough got back to dispossess him. Thomas has gone down injured as Crosby races clear for Nottingham Forest. Still Crosby. It comes to Clough. Adams tackles a beauty. The art of tackling often overlooked. But Nigel Clough will confirm that Tony Adams, when he times it right anyway, is as good as any in the business. Crowd in Highbury tonight, over 31,000. Richardson. Now Winterburn. Good play, Campbell. Dixon. This is Richardson again. Into Smith. Flicked on towards Campbell. Yes! The smile of a 
very satisfied young man. And the Arsenal crowd believe that will be one goal of many more in this man's career. And how well he took it. Again, a lovely build-up by Arsenal. And what a great little through ball that was by Smith. Walker couldn't control it. Campbell had the confidence to go for the far post. And Arsenal have three. Arsenal three, Nottingham Forest nil. The goal famine has been ended in spectacular style as Laws goes forward now for Forest. Oh, it was Jemson with a golden opportunity to pull one back. But Kevin Campbell is a talent that Arsenal have nurtured very carefully indeed. He scored 59 goals incredibly for... Uh, Arsenal's various teams, youth and reserve, a couple of seasons ago, and this is a man we're going to be hearing a lot more of in the future. Lukic looking for Smith and finding him, and Smith in turn finds Tom as well. Campbell's ahead of him, calling for the ball. Crosby wins it back for Nottingham Forest. But this is Richardson as Arsenal press again. Pierce's clearance. Now Crosby. Winterburn deprives him of possession and finds Campbell. Winterburn again. Rowcastle. Bold. Now Thomas. Well, I'm not quite sure what he intended then, but it didn't come off. Orlikson, Campbell did well and took the ball off him and gets it back himself. Flying tackle on uh, Campbell, but he still kept possession and so did Richardson then. This is Winterburn. Oh, what a lovely ball down the line for Smith. Walker concedes the throw. Winterburn's throw in towards Smith and he won it as well but Orlikson gets it clear Adams turned back by Thomas Adams again here Thomas good football Winterburn Campbell Adams oh that was a bad ball though Adams will try his best to win it back, but he could be in danger. He's left a big gap as Jemson gallops into it. Orlikson. Now Parker. A measured ball for Clough. Laws coming up from the back again, and Adams was there to block the shot, and he made the initial mistake. Laws gets into that position so often. Winterburn. Now O'Leary. Bad ball by Dixon. Gives Forrest possession again. Parker. That's a good little ball for Clough. Good tackle. Well, I thought it was. I can't agree with the referee's decision, I have to say. I thought that was a very clean challenge by Tony Adams on Nigel Clough. And I must say, in my book, Forrester lucky to get a penalty there. Well, let's have a look at it again from the camera behind the goal. He made contact with the ball, but has to be intent before a penalty can be given. And in my opinion, he was intending to win the ball and no more. But the referee's decision is the one that matters, and he's given a penalty, and Nigel Cuff himself will take it. Lukic waits, and Lukic saves it, and frankly, I think justice has been done. Well, he's made a name for himself for saving penalties over the years, John Lukic. In fact, he might have to save another one. 
because the referee has said that he moved too soon. Well, he probably did marginally, but what goalkeeper doesn't? Well, Mr Nixon is not popular now at Highbury. Having made that splendid save, he's got to face the penalty again. Well, astonishing drama in the final couple of minutes here. Nigel Pop again against Lukic. And he's missed it. Well, isn't it astonishing? Nigel Clough misses twice from the spot, and Lukic, in the end, and I have to repeat it once more, has seen justice done, in my opinion. Clough blasting the shot, just skimmed the bar, but it was always travelling skywards. It hasn't been Forest Knight. Winterburn. And the crowd love that even more now, of course. And Winterburn goes forward. The referee has stopped play. Either for a free kick or a throw, I'm not quite sure which. Free kick. Well, you can't win in situations like that, to be fair to the referee. Because he tried to uh, give Arsenal the free kick they merited. He wasn't to know that they were going to gain an advantage. Here's Campbell. Rocastle lets it go for Dixon. On to Smith. Smith's done well here. Law's headed clearance. Rocastle onto it. Yes. Still Rocastle. And still. He's still in there. So is Campbell now. Winterburn. Beaten Crosby, but still hasn't found space for the cross. Richardson to Campbell to Winterburn. Tried the little back heeler and it didn't come off. But that's Arsenal's throw. We're into time being added now. Arsenal leading 3 0. And Forrest have even missed a twice taken penalty. Campbell. Well, he got away from his marker well then, but Clough was back to uh, cover. Here's Parker. Clough again. Turned away beautifully, didn't he? Orlikson. On to Jemson. Took it nicely in his stride. Orlikson. Now Pierce. On the left is Rice. Still Rice. Jemson couldn't get the shot in. Bold clears to the delight of the crowd. And here goes Smith. And it's three against two here for Arsenal. Campbell and Rocastle forward. Walker's tackle, corner. Smith gets up without a complaint, and that's good. Corner's already been taken. O'Leary. Well, they played it all the way back when the crowd wanted to see it pumped into the forest penalty area again. And further back still to Winterburn. The crowd have got a hunger for goals now, and no wonder after all those matches they've watched in recent weeks when Arsenal have failed to score. Here's Thomas. So the referee has looked at his watch, and Arsenal on the verge of a very important victory here. Lukic delivers it once more into the Forest penalty area. Free kick has already been given. The whistle's gone, but the players didn't hear it in the noise, and no wonder. which surely puts them back on course to challenge Liverpool for the league title again. And Aston Villa as well will know that there's opposition below them now as well as above. Kevin Campbell put the icing on the cake for Arsenal with the third goal. After Perry Groves, who went off injured, and then Tony Adams have built them a two-goal advantage. And Adams involved in the controversial incident at the end when Forrest twice missed the penalty. Who's around for the referee for that? But let's not uh, have that incident take anything away from the classic nature of this game. A really excellent first division match and a very important win for Arsenal over Nottingham Forest by three goals to nil.
Richardson with the kick. Bold on the near post, often the target. And Adams running in on the edge of the penalty area. Smith is there as well. Oh! They all stood and waited. And Groves was the quickest to react. And Arsenal's goal famine is over. This is Richardson again. Into Smith. Flicked on towards Campbell. Yes! The smile of a very satisfied young man. And the Arsenal crowd believe that will be one goal of many more in this man's career. Yeah. Yeah. Turn it up. Well, I knew he's a humming sound. A little bit. Hello? Yeah, that's I can. It's, it's okay. But. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, like, yeah, it's fine. All right.